European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen inspected a generator that had been provided to the bloc to Ukraine as winter approaches. That happened during her visit to Kiev on Friday. Von der Leyen arrived in Ukraine earlier in the day focused on helping the country to repair and reconnect its war-damaged electricity grid and boost its heating capacity as winter approaches. Around half of Ukraine's energy infrastructure has been destroyed during its war with Russia, and rolling electricity blackouts leave parts of the east in darkness for four hours at a time. Von der Leyen said it was as though all of Latvia, Lithuania and Estonia had lost electricity. Meanwhile, winter is approaching. The main aim is to help Ukraine decentralize its power grid, and to become less reliant on the big power stations that make easier targets for Russian forces. Around 260 missiles rained down in a major attack on energy infrastructure late last month. The Europeans have already sent more 10,000 generators and transformers, and they're supplying small and more mobile gas turbines too. These types of electricity providing equipment is harder to hit and easier to repair. Ukraine's winter runs from late October through March, with January and February the toughest months. The Europeans hope to help supply around 25% of the 17 gigawatts of power that the country is likely to need this winter. One aim of the EU assistance is to provide an incentive for people to stay in Ukraine. Some 4 million people have fled since the war began in February 2022, often to Poland and other neighboring countries. The EU is providing assistance, such as short-term help to find a place to stay, jobs or education. But recently the number of people leaving has climbed. The Commission, the EU's powerful executive branch, estimates that 10,000 more people are applying for help each week. Thanks.
European Union Chief Ursula von der Leyen traveled to war-ravaged Ukraine on Friday with the promise of 160 million euros in fresh energy funds to get the nation through the winter. Von der Leyen told reporters that 100 million euros of the funds would come the proceeds of the Russian assets held in the EU because of the 2022 invasion of Ukraine. It is only right that Russia pays for the destruction it caused, she said. The European Union estimates that about half of Ukraine's energy infrastructure has been destroyed, making the job of heating homes, hospitals and schools increasingly difficult as temperatures dip ahead of the third war winter that the nation will face. Overall, the EU estimates that it has provided Ukraine with at least 2 billion euros in energy support since the February 2022 invasion. Von der Leyen said she will meet with President Volodymyr Zelensky in Kiev to discuss energy issues on Friday.